Hello guys, welcome to the next video in this Mercedes Sprinter van conversion series. In today's video we're going to be installing the ceiling in the main portion of the van. When we were designing our van the one thing we wanted was it to have a production look. So we wanted it to have this sort of professional finish. There's a lot of ways that you can finish a van and there's a lot of materials that you can use. So we approached the guys at Moreland UK. They're the guys that supplied our furniture board and they do a range of three millimeter vinyl covered plywood, which is ideal for cladding your walls or your ceiling. When we were selecting the wood for our furniture, we also had a look at their vinyl covered plywood online. And at the same time, we ordered a couple of samples of this white vinyl ply. This is a three millimeter ply, very lightweight. An eight by four sheet of this will only weigh about seven kilos. It's made from poplar and it's a certified sustainable material. It's got a vinyl wipe down surface. So if you get anything on here, it can simply be wiped clean with a cloth, which is really handy in a van. And it comes in a choice currently of 11 different textures and colored finishes. We chose these two. This is a white linen, which has got a very, very faint pattern on it. You can hardly see it from a distance. And this one is called Threads. This is the one that we're actually going to go with. It's got a little bit more of a distinct pattern and I think this will look really nice on the ceiling of our van. If you'd like to purchase this vinyl covered plywood from Moreland UK, I'll put a link in the description below to their online shop. You can have a look at all of their range and you can even order a few samples yourself before you decide to buy. Okay, let's get in the van and let's show you how we're going to install this ceiling. So I can install the headliner up against this bulkhead. I'm going to need something to fix the headliner to at this point. Otherwise here it's just going to flop around. So I've cut these few blocks. I'm going to fix these to the bulkhead. I'm going to run the insulation into these and then that will give me something to actually fix the headliner to. And these are exactly the same depth as this section of the ceiling here. So the headliner is going to come through nice and flush. What we're using for our headliner is a three millimeter plywood and then on this face it's got a white vinyl covering and then it's got a very small sort of thread pattern just so it doesn't look plain and then to trim this we're using a bit of this PVC trim this is the edge trim and then there's also another H style trim that will join the two boards together and then once we've finished, we peel off this little protective coating to leave that white PVC finish. So we've got the PVC trim nailed up to those timber battens. The headliner is now gonna slide into that groove. That'll cover all of that up nicely and it'll give us a really neat edge between the headliner and this cupboard. 
and then we'll just remove that protective covering at the last minute. The teeth on your circular saw, the blade rotates in an anti-clockwise direction and it cuts upwards towards the base plate. So what that does is that pulls the wood into the base of the saw. So that just makes it more stable and it doesn't jump around. So what that does is any tear out you're going to get is going to be on the top surface. So when you're cutting anything with a finish, you always want to make sure that your finish is facing down and then any tear out like you see here will be on the back side which we're not really too worried about. The other thing is you take it really slow and it will minimise this. You could put some tape on here, that would also help if you're concerned about tear out. But basically keep the face side down and you should be good. Here's a little tip when you're cutting very thin material like this which is very flimsy and flexible. I've just raised the blade up in the circular saw so I've only got a very small proportion of it showing below the bottom of the saw just enough to cut through the material and then I've just sandwiched a piece of old Celotex insulation a bit of scrap so I can cut through this it will cut into the Celotex but it won't matter but at least this board will be well supported while I'm running the circular saw over it. The headliner is going to slide into this PVC trim that I've got nailed up to these battens here. And then what I've got to do, there's a slight curve on this plastic trunking. So I need to scribe this edge in to match this curve. So I've just got a scrap of cardboard with a straight edge on it. I'll put the straight edge up against the bulkhead. And then what I've done with a pencil, I've just scribed in that line and then I've cut it out with a sharp knife and now you can see that fits in there quite snug now. So I'm just going to use this as a template to trace onto the headliner. We'll cut that curve in it and then we'll know that that's going to fit. Obviously this cut edge along here is going to be visible in the finished van so we want to spend a bit of time and make sure we get that edge really nice and tight and clean. But this edge over here, we're going to have wall cupboards up here right the way along. So it doesn't have to be too critical because this is going to be hidden by the cupboards that are going here. So I could even cut this back a little bit short and it wouldn't matter. I've marked out where the cutout needs to be for the fan in the ceiling. I haven't marked the full extent of the cutout. I've just come about an inch inside. And then what we'll do is when it's actually fixed in position, I'll run round it with my trim router and get it perfect to where the fan is. Before we close up this headliner and screw it all permanently in place I want to check that all the wiring that we put in first fix is all sound before we close it all up because if we do need to change anything now would be the time to do it. So all I'm going to do, I'll show you an easy way to test these. I'm just going to strip these cables back. And then all I'm going to do, the other end where the power supply would be, I'm going to join those two cables together. And what we should get is we should be able to do a continuity test across these two leads. If I touch these two probes together, I get a continuity. If I touch them on these wires, at the moment I don't get anything because it's open circuit. So we'll wire the other two ends together and then we should get continuity. This is the other end of that cable, so this would get wired into the control panel. We could put a 12 volt supply on here to test it, but all I'm going to do is just simply just twist them together. Now we should get continuity on the other end of this cable. So now we've twisted the other end of that cable, we should now get continuity on these two wires. So 
So now I know that that is continuous all the way down there. Just to make sure that our electrics are perfectly sound, we've put some power 12 volt at the control panel end of this cable. And then we've just temporarily just wired this light on here just to test it. Hey, we've got lights. That's good, right. Happy that all the cables are okay, now we can button up this headliner. The first section of ceiling is up now. We've obviously got to trim around the fan and then there's a PVC trim to go around that opening which is also secured into the timber frame. So that'll also help to hold it in place. And then now we come to do this next section. Obviously we've got to get around this conduit here. So again, we've got a piece of cardboard scribed around it, cut it, tried it, test fitted it. Now we can copy this onto our board and then cut it out with the jigsaw. I've traced around my template onto the back of the headliner. I've allowed a little bit extra on this edge because that's what's going to get inserted into that PVC trim. And now we can just cut that out with the jigsaw. When I cut this hole out of the headliner, I deliberately left it a couple of inches inside of this timber frame. Because no matter how many times you measure it, there's always a chance that you're not going to get it spot on first time. So what I can do now is with a flush trimming bit in my router, I can run that around the inside edge of this timber frame and that will trim this headliner off exactly to match that. So what I've got set up in the router is a flush trimming bit which is riding on a little ball bearing. That will run around the inside of that frame and trim off the headliner. Join the two sheets of headliner together, I'm using this PVC trim. It's got like a H profile to it, so you can push a board in from either side. And then it's got these tiny little barbs on it. Once the board's pushed in there, they're very difficult to come loose. To make life a little easier in getting these sheets onto the ceiling, we've pushed this trim onto one of the boards to start with, and we've pre-driven these nails in. So once it's up there, all we've got to do is drive these home. made myself this screw guide taken a scrap of wood ruled a center line down it and then drilled holes at equal centers we'll put this up on the ceiling drill through this and then each of our fixings are going to be perfectly in a line and at equal centers The back of the van curves away here. This is a straight edge. I've just temporarily screwed up this piece of ply. I'm going to create a template. 
And what we want to do is we want to scribe this curve onto this board. And I'll show you how you can make your own scribe pretty simply with a bit of wood. Measure the widest point from the van to your straight edge. So there we can see that's just over four centimetres. Get yourself a scrap of wood and just cut a point on one end and then measure down from that point to somewhere here just larger than the four centimetres that we've just measured and make a mark. I'm just going to go a couple of millimetres more and put a mark there. Now I'm going to drill a hole there big enough to accept my pencil. and then put your pencil in there and then this is what we're going to use to scribe that line hold the point of your bit of wood against what you're trying to scribe and then the pencil will recreate that curve onto your template and then keep this all the time parallel to this edge here so it's perpendicular to this now you don't want to be going like this or like this, you want to keep that perpendicular all the way down. And just follow that. And then we can cut that line and that should fit that curve perfectly. This is a commercially available scribe. It's got a little wheel nut on the top here and you can adjust the depth of the scribe just by sliding this along and then tightening it back up. But as you've seen earlier, you can simply just cut one yourself as long as you know the depth of the deepest part of the scribe and then drill your hole where you need your pencil to be and you can make one for nothing. I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy one of these yourself. So there we go, the ceiling's installed in the van now and I'm super pleased with how clean that looks. I mean, that white ceiling is gonna really brighten up the van inside. It's really easy to fix with those uh, small screw cups and that PVC trim. So what I'll do is I'll put links in the description below to Moreland's website if you'd like to get your own furniture board or vinyl covered plywood from them. They also do a range of trim accessories and tools. I'll also put some links below for the little screw cut fasteners, which I simply ordered off of eBay, and some of the PVC trim, the white PVC trim, I also got from eBay. And finally, if you're interested in one of those manufactured trend scribes, I'll put the link in the description for that as well. Hope you're really enjoying this build series. I think now you can see, now we're getting the furniture and the finishes in, it's really starting to look the part and uh, it's really coming together. So please make sure that you subscribe. Don't miss any of the future videos. Please do leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up and share the videos on social media if you think somebody else would benefit from this content. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you soon. Cheers.